so this week's video I wanted to just talk really quickly about self-care, mental health, and just downtime because society these days is very fast-paced and people are always moving, moving, moving from one activity to the next and we don't really make relaxation a priority uh, or if you make relaxation a priority, sometimes people say you're lazy because you make relaxation and self-care a priority, which don't even get me started there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so this week I wanted to talk a little bit about self-care and relaxation techniques. So the thing about downtime is not everybody needs the same amount of downtime. Some people need a lot less and some people need a lot more than others. I like downtime and I have it scheduled in my calendar every day for an hour in the evening when I know I'll be done with everything I have to get done where I will usually read or do maybe something creative uh, and that's just my chunk of time and it's scheduled, it's in my calendar so it happens where I just kind of do something relaxing to recover from my day and just recenter myself. That sounds really cheesy. So what are some really good downtime activities you might ask? Uh, some of my favorite would be watching documentaries. Uh, I also like reading, but depending on what you're reading, if you're reading something that's really exciting and invigorating, that might not be relaxing because it's still kind of, uh, it can be, an if you're into what you're reading, it can be energetic reading. Uh, unless you really don't like reading that much and reading puts you to sleep all the time, then maybe not. Uh, everybody's different. Uh, I love walk, like walking in nature or you can take your dog for a walk and that's like a very relaxing activity just you know really being in the present as long as you're not like um, on your phone the whole time you know, you're actually there enjoying your walk. Um, exercising can be a very good activity like lifting weights. Um, I don't know if you really like running and you're very good at or you're very good strong runner running might be a relaxing activity for you. I, when I ran more, actually ran, running could actually be a very, could be relaxing, but now running is not relaxing for me anymore. I really rather not. Uh, yoga is relaxing for me. Uh, so certain, you know, what everyone's different, like I keep saying, so whatever works for you, but exercising can be a really good way to relax and it actually is really good for your health to get, you know, get some physical activity, especially um, uh, when we sit at computers all day for a lot of our jobs or we just aren't out um, moving around as much as humans historically moved around in the past. Uh, I love to have a nice cup of tea and it's not just the tea itself that's relaxing, it's the whole ritual of tea, like I have to make my tea and I have my timer while it's um, my timer is going off with the tea steeping and then I you know mix my mixings in to make my tea just the way I like it and then I sit and I enjoy my warm cup of tea the whole thing is just uh, it's like I do it in the same way every time it's like a ritual it's just so relaxing and I, I actually am very like in the moment and more cheesy mindfulness talk but while I'm making and enjoying my tea uh, it can be a very relaxing activity, so I love tea um, for that reason. Uh, so those are just some of the things that I do to relax. What do, what do you do to relax? What are your favorite relaxing activities? You know, how do you unwind from your work day, or just what what can you do if you've had you know a stressful uh, time or a stressful day? Like, what do you do to to fight that back and to get yourself back to being happy again to where you need to be tell me about it I'd love to know uh, anyway guys I will talk to you next week thank you